everybody, CK here, and I'm coming to you guys with another video. Now, this video is like a super duper chill video, okay? So it is Memorial Day weekend, and there's a lot of kids outside, so you may hear a little bit of noise, okay? But I really, really wanted to get this video out to you guys because it is a Q&A video. I asked you guys on Instagram if you had any questions for me. And I got a few responses, so I'm just gonna address those questions or answer those questions, as well as do a giveaway, you guys. So I don't know if you guys have noticed, but we are almost at 30,000 supporters. You guys are awesome, you guys rock. And I just wanna give back to you guys just to show my appreciation. And I didn't wanna wait till we got to 30,000 because I've been telling you guys we were gonna do a giveaway like long before now. So I'm gonna do the giveaway at the end, but first I'm gonna answer some of the questions that you guys ask me. Oh, and you guys, like I totally have a Snapchat now. I'm really getting used to it. I'm, I'm kind of learning how it goes and how to add text and all that kind of stuff. So if you guys are on there, add a sister, okay? So let's get on with these questions and then I will show you what I will be giving away. So the first question is from J Smith Beauty on Instagram. And she said, what's your favorite thing to do together with your girls? And she said, love ya, love you too, girly, if you're watching. Uh, my favorite thing to do with my girls is to shop, okay? And I love quality time too. I like just hanging out with them. It really doesn't matter what we do, but shopping is really, really fun. Like we enjoy that together. From Lady Don 30 on Instagram, she says, if you could only have one brand of makeup with every product they have, which would you pick? I, I, I cannot pick like just one brand of makeup because I don't discriminate, you guys. I may love a foundation from one line, an eyeshadow palette from another line, a lipstick from another line. So I really don't have one brand. I just, I, I love I love all things makeup. Um, okay, and then Naturally Marlene from Instagram says, how did you get companies to sponsor you? A lot of companies will approach you based on your content and your subscriber count. It, and a lot of times it doesn't even have anything to do with your subscriber count. If they like the content that you are producing and they feel that you're a good fit with their company, they will ask you to do reviews for them. And some companies will send you products in hope that you will like them enough to review. And Beauty with Mika, hey girl, on Instagram says, describe a night with your family. Oh my goodness, because it totally depends. But um, we pretty much come home and um, throughout the week, everybody has like a night that they do dinner. Like Kayla has meals that she makes. Asia has meals that she makes. I have meals that I make and my husband has meals that he makes. And so depending on what night it is, we'll make dinner, we'll all eat, we'll just do our little talking. Sometimes the girls will come in my room, the girls will kind of alternate and come in there and just talk. And you know, sometimes we watch videos, sometimes we may watch a movie. It just totally depends on what night it is. But that's, you know, anything can happen in the key household. How about that? Loves Beauty 41 says, do you aspire to have your own cosmetic line? Um, I'm a, how I'm gonna answer that question is this. If the Lord sees fit for me to have a cosmetic line, then it will be so. And I will not have a problem with it. I'm not sure if I'm saying this name right, but it says Pretty Bonita from Instagram. She says, what's your favorite thing about the YouTube beauty community? My favorite thing about the beauty community on YouTube is that you learn so much, okay? So not only do I bring something to the table and do I offer, you know, my expertise and bring it into YouTube, but I'm also able to learn techniques and tips and tricks from other YouTubers. So I just think that that's awesome. So, you know, because I feel like everyone has something to offer. So it's totally fun to exchange ideas or tips and techniques. Moni Love underscore beauty says, what advice would you give other women of color to have a well-rounded channel on YouTube? My advice to have a well-rounded channel on YouTube, which I would think that I have one because I do a little bit of everything, but my advice is just do what you love. And the people that love what you love, they will gravitate to your channel. So that's all I do. I mean, there's not like a, a plot or a plan. I simply do the things that I enjoy. Um, I talk about natural hair because my hair is natural. I talk about wigs and different protective styles because that's what I do. I talk and wigs are kind of new. Like I just like introduced that to my channel because it's something that 
I just started doing. Um, I talk about makeup because I have a love for makeup. I love it. Well, sometimes I do outfit of the days, especially on my Instagram. But sometimes I do outfit on the days here because it's something that I like. It's not so much that I'm doing this for certain people. I'm doing it because it's what I enjoy doing. And it just so happens that a lot of you, you know, um, may relate. You may relate to the fashion side. You may relate to the hair side or even the makeup side. And then I like to bring my girls in and my husband made a debut one time, but I like to bring my girls in because you know they're a part of me. So that's one thing I would say as far as having a well-rounded channel, just present to YouTube the things that you love and listen to what your audience has to say too because if I notice that you guys like certain videos more, I do try to do them. So I would hope that that is what has helped me have a well-rounded channel Hope I answered your question on that without rambling. Um, okay, and this is from my baby Malik on Instagram. She said, how do you feel when women of color put down other women of color in the YouTube community or don't show support for their counterpart of the tube community? So I'm just, I'm not even going to address the whole women of color situation because I feel like no matter what color you are, I feel like as women, we should support one another. You understand what I'm saying? I mean, we should lift one another up. And I feel like um, I don't like when I don't see people support one another. And I try my hardest to support people. Now, I may not support every single person. If someone comes out with a makeup line and I know them and I follow them, then I definitely try to support them. If I see someone doing something positive, I would definitely try to support them. Like Diva Makeup Queen came out with a palette. I supported her. Missy Lynn came out with a palette. I supported her. You know what I'm saying? I may not be able to support every single person, but I definitely try to make it known that I do support because any Anybody that has something positive going on and they're trying to you know trying to do something in this life I want to try to support if I can so how I feel about other people not doing it I just wish that we could support one another more whether it's Latina whether it's Asian whether it's um, Filipino whatever I just wish that as women we could support each other more as a whole together you know what I'm saying? Support other channels no matter what their color is. Oh, and that's another thing too. I not only support by buying certain products, but if I check out your channel, I'll comment, I will like. That's that's another form of support, you guys. Oh, and Chris and Makeup, she didn't have a question, but I just wanna shout her out. She has a channel here on YouTube, but she is so awesome. When I say she is such an encourager, let me tell you what her comment said. It said, congratulations, you genuinely deserve it and everyone to come. She's talking about like supporters. And then she said 100K up next. So every time I post on Instagram, every time I post a video on YouTube, she is always encouraging and always so supportive. So Crystal, you are the bomb.com and I appreciate you. Now I don't have the comment right in front of me, you guys, but someone on YouTube asked me, how do I remove my makeup or what do I use to remove my makeup? Because they said that makeup wipes break them out. Well, I use grapeseed oil flat out and I use warm water and paper towels. And the reason that I like to use paper towels is because a washcloth houses bacteria. So I figured that using a paper towel is safe because there's no bacteria that's just laying in wait. First, I take the grapeseed oil and I just rub it all around because that breaks down everything from liner to mascara to makeup. And then I just take a paper towel with warm water on it or a few of them actually and then I just wipe my whole face down and then I proceed to wash and I love doing that it works for me I don't use anything else I do not use makeup wipes all right so I think I've answered all the questions that I've had so far so if you guys have asked a question that I have not um, responded to then let me know in the comment section and I will be glad to address it in another video and I also want to tell you guys that a lot of times I see comments in the comment section and I can't reply to it like when I go to reply to it it says um, report or something like that but it will not let me reply and I'm not sure why but I think it has something to do with your settings so please when you comment make sure that your settings are right so that I can reply back because some of you guys I can't okay so I'm not ignoring you I just can't reply so if you guys want to continue this whole series and you want to ask more questions feel free to ask questions you guys until then we are gonna go over the giveaway prizes yes the first items I'm gonna give away are some city color lipsticks. Now, I talked about these city color lipsticks in a haul. So you have those, it's three of those, along with one of their matte lipsticks right here. I don't, I don't know if you guys can even see that color, but the name of it is Lena. 
and then I am giving away a Ruby Kisses lipstick. And if you guys see that little blue sticker on it, it's because I bought it from my beauty supply. So I can't stand that they put those, but at least you guys know that I purchased it and you know that it's fresh and new and hasn't been touched, all right? So this one is in the color Purple Affair and that is what that looks like. I hope you can see that real good. And a couple of the LA Girl Matte lipsticks. This one is in Stunner, which happens to be my favorite from them right now. And the other one is in Backstage. And that's what those two look like. And then a Milani eyeliner. This is called the iTech Perfection. It's a liquid eyeliner. And I don't really want to open this package because it's already sealed and bubble wrapped and everything, but it's from Be A Bombshell. It is an eye crayon, a lip gloss, two eyeshadows, and a blush. And then I'm going to be giving away a setting spray from LA Girl Cosmetics a orange concealer from LA Girl Cosmetics, an eyelash curler from Jessie Girl, a beauty sponge from BH Cosmetics, some cheek and lip stains from City Color Cosmetics, white pearl mousse from City Color Cosmetics. I don't know if you guys can see that really good, but right here it's perfume from Scentbird. The fragrance right here, it is Michael Kors Michael and the little velvet pouch. And the next thing is some champagne glitter by Lit Cosmetics along with the glitter glue or glitter gel a missy lynn palette i have been promising you guys this forever so a missy lynn palette and lastly a brush set from sonia kasher and i do have another giveaway coming you guys because i have another set of these and i have another missy lynn palette and i actually have a couple more palettes you guys because when i find stuff on sale i'll buy a few of them and i kind of hold it for a giveaway and i just haven't had a lot so I have some more giveaways coming, but we're gonna start with one and I'm only gonna have one winner. So one winner takes all, all right? And so I don't know what all of the rules will be. I do know that you have to be 18 or if you're not 18, you have to obtain parental consent to receive items, okay? And it is open internationally, FYI. Um, another thing, you must be subscribed to my channel because I mean, it's because you are a supporter, all right? So I have three questions I want you guys to answer, okay? The first question is, how did you find my YouTube channel? The second question is, what would you like to see more of on my channel? And the third question is, because I am so curious, like sometimes on my videos or on other YouTubers videos, I see a few dislikes. I will see like their video can be up for like not even an hour and I'll see that there's quite a few dislikes on certain videos. So my question is for the avid dislikers out there, cause I never dislike a video. The whole time I've been on YouTube, I've never disliked anyone's video because if I don't like the video, Either I'll just click out of it or I just won't say nothing because I mean, you know, if you can't say nothing nice, you know, you don't say nothing at all. But there is a way that you can do constructive criticism. So I'm just wondering what causes the dislikes. Is it because you don't like the content? Is it because you don't like the nature of the video? Is it that you prefer certain videos? So when someone posts a different type of video, you just automatically, oh, I don't like that because I like when they do this. So I'm just curious, you guys. I love to research. And so this is like a form of research. So I'm curious. So let me know. And then if you guys want to get extra entries, you can follow me on Instagram or Twitter or Snapchat or Facebook. So if you do follow me on those other forms of social media and you want an extra entry, you can comment down here and let me know your handle on any of those social media outlets and make life easy for me, okay? So that's it. Anything else I would definitely put in the description box. I'll put everything in the description box, okay? So that is it for this video, you guys. Let me know if you enjoy Q&A videos and if you wanna see more. And um, let me know if you want more giveaways, which I'm sure you do because like if I were you, I would too. Okay, so that's it for this video, you guys. I hope you enjoy your Memorial Day weekend and you guys have an awesome, blessed day and I will see you sooner than you think. Bye. But it swatches really, really well. You see that, you guys? Those colors are very, very pigmented. So I am anxious to do a video using these products.